So when you first find a new stream, it's likely the video quality that caught your eye, but it's gonna be the audio quality that keeps you around. And for most people, when they're first starting out with audio production, it can be quite frustrating to deal with background noise, especially since most of us don't have access to soundproofing equipment. But never fear, technology is here. So in this episode of the studio, we're gonna check out some tips and techniques to improve your audio quality, specifically for your microphone. So I think the biggest issue for most people is dealing with environmental noise. This can be, you know, a pet barking in the background or a microwave or an air conditioner, just anything that happens in your background. And there's a couple ways to deal with this. The first way is to make sure you get the right microphone for the job. So a lot of people tend to buy a condenser microphone as their first microphone. And these microphones are really great at picking up all the nice little details of your voice. But then they also pick up the details of everything else that's going on in a room. So in this case, I recommend buying a dynamic microphone if you're in a noisy environment, cause this will cut a lot of that noise out. So if buying a new microphone isn't quite in the budget, never fear, there's actually some software-based solutions to noise removal. So if you have an RTX GPU, you actually have access to the NVIDIA Broadcast app. And once you install this app, it's a free app. It basically installs itself as a microphone device. So you set your microphone as a microphone in the NVIDIA Broadcast app, and you can adjust how much noise removal there is. And then anything that you're using to create or record your microphone, such as XSplit Broadcaster, you set the NVIDIA Broadcast app as a microphone input. But if all that sounds quite complicated, we've actually streamlined the process quite a bit with NVIDIA. So you can actually go and install the NVIDIA Broadcast Audio Engine SDK. That's quite a mouthful, but you'll find a link to download it in the description below. But once you install that and you make sure you have the latest version of XSplit Broadcaster installed, all you gotta do is go to the audio mixer in XSplit, open up the audio, DSP settings, and then enable the NVIDIA broadcast. And now you have the noise removal. But if you don't like the sound profile or you don't like how it changes your voice, there's some other options as well. So one of the other options in the audio DSP settings is a noise gate. What a noise gate does is that you set a certain threshold and if the noise does not pass this threshold, the microphone won't be turned on. The microphone is only turned on once it passes a threshold, like if you're speaking into it. So this is really good for really low noises that are consistent, like keyboard clicks, but once the noise gate is open, those sounds still will come through. The other tool you can use is the parametric EQ. So a lot of people use the EQ to make what's known as a high pass filter. This basically cuts off all the low frequencies and only allows the high frequencies. So the low frequencies tend to be kind of like a rumble that you get from like your air conditioning unit. So we can set this EQ to basically lower the gain of a certain frequency and this might help reduce some of those low rumble noises. So audio, like most things, takes practice and patience, but I guarantee you, if you apply some of the techniques from the video and use the right tools, your audio can go from this. Hey everyone, welcome to my cool streamer challenge. I'm here talking to you all. Let's get it started. To this. Hey everyone, welcome to my cool streamer challenge. I'm here talking to you all. Let's get it started. But I wanna know from you, what kind of microphones do you have from home or what kind of challenges have you had when it comes to audio? And what's your favorite microphone? Let me know in the comments, give a like if this video was helpful and make sure to subscribe if you're also on that never ending quest to build the perfect home studio.